What is up, guys? Um, big spoiler here. So if you haven't seen the finale of The Walking Dead yet, I would click off this video right now. Um, it was pretty intense. I am just flabbergasted by the final 10, 15 minutes of that episode. Actually, the whole thing was freaking crazy. It was an hour and a half, and it just ended on a huge cliffhanger. Oh my gosh, insane. So basically, the group spends the whole episode trying to get Maggie out of town to this other place with the doctor because she's pregnant and something's going wrong with her and they're just trying to get her out of there and she is not looking well but they're getting stopped by the saviors and they like had to go back you know like three different times i think or two different times because they kept blocking the road and every time they blocked the road they used some something different to show that they were more dominant than the group in the town because they, they had a whole line of zombies, you know, chained together. And it took them, like, not even that long to do that. And then also they, they like, kept going through that chain link fence after they got shot at their feet. They didn't even shoot at them. They just shot at their feet. And then Rick cut open the fence and they went through the fence of zombies. And then they kept going and they just see, like, 30, 40 guys stacked just standing on cars, standing by cars, all just standing there like nothing's even going on, not even aiming their guns. So then they turn around and they go back and then all of a sudden there's logs just blocking their path. Tons of logs which they had to have used. Crazy equipment to block the road and not that big of amount of a time. All right. And then so they turn around and there's just like an overpass there and they hang one of their people. I think it was one of their people from the town. I missed that part. But yeah, he was just hanging there and they couldn't even waste a bullet because they knew there was going to be a fight. So they couldn't even waste a bullet to shoot that guy who was hanging. And then they started the pile of logs on fire. So they had to keep going. And then, oh my gosh, the RV, they leave the RV and they're going to try running through the woods with Maggie and you know, all they're carrying her. There's only a couple of miles left. All of a sudden, they just start here whistling like, <whistles> you know, all around them as they keep running. They keep running and they keep running. And then all of a sudden, they come into an opening and it's just tons of them surrounding them. And they're all whistling at the same time. It was probably one of the scariest things I've seen in a TV show before. And this is not supposed to be horror, man. It's like action. It's thriller with the zombies and everything. But no, they have this horror in it. And it's freaking crazy. So then, finally, we we see the dude. The big man. And he... He just, like, they get them all stacked in a line. You know, they're all on their knees, and Negan comes out. I wanted to call him Keegan for a second. But, no, Negan comes out. And he's a really good actor. He's from, like, Supernatural and a couple other shows. And, yeah, he's a good actor. But he had he did a really good job, like, just scaring the crap out of them. He kept going up and down the rows. And he said, you work for me now. And, like, they're going to take everything that they have, and they're going to make them, like, farm and stuff for him but they killed tons of the saviors and he couldn't just let him get off on that so then the next thing he says is i'm gonna beat the shit out of one of you basically and he keeps going up and down the row talking who's it gonna be who's it gonna be and then all of a sudden he starts going eeny meeny miny mo that freaking game he's doing that and it's like going to each face you know and then all of a sudden he says he like he gets down to one and he says like okay it's gonna be you you know and then he t he says if anyone yells screams or gets up then we will kill you and then basically he said also we will like cut Carl's other eye out and feed it to his dad basically which is really horrendous and that makes you think that it was Carl you know getting beat to death or not to death but just beaten but we actually don't know who got beaten, really. It could have been any one of them that they stopped on. But he gave them a good whack. You know, they they looked up, and then he gave them another whack, and that was the end of it, basically. Black screen after that. I mean, I think they want to make you think it was Carl, but it was actually someone else. We don't know. And I'm not watching The Talking Dead right now because I wanted to come make this video. So, I mean, maybe they come out and say, yeah, it was Carl on The Talking Dead. So if I get that wrong, then just you know, just tell me, hey, you know, you got it wrong and everything. But I think 
Yeah, it could be any of them. But I'm thinking it's the the really nerdy guy. I can't remember his name. Uh, Eugene. I I kind of think it was Eugene. I don't know. I just feel like it was Eugene. But anyways, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And that was my review of that crazy finale. And if you watch this and stuff was spoiled for you, you're dumb. Because I said at the start that there was going to be spoilers, all right? <laughs> so, yeah, that was just one of the craziest episodes they had. Jammed pack with action at the end great finish but we're gonna have to wait for a while to see you know who got the shit beat out of them and what are they gonna do to defend themselves against these guys are they gonna rebel i'm sure they're gonna rebel we're gonna see what happens in the next season and it's gonna be freaking insane thank you guys for watching leave a like comment below what you think is gonna happen next season or who you thought got beaten up and i will see you in the next video peace